This is Christine Somer of MassapequaNews.com. For the Newsweek ending August 14, 2006, the following synopsis and commentary is sponsored by your ink and toner cartridge refill and replace specialist, Cartridge World. Take a look. This week in community news, MassapequaNews.com is the featured business this week on SeminoWorld.net link into the feature on the Business Solutions page. This blows me away because while MassPeopleNews.com is supposed to present the news, it is the news. We visited with the Temptations and the Encounters at John Burns Park this week as the town of Oyster Bay wound down its Music Under the Stars series. Take a look at the photos on the events page. Classic Cruise Night by the Town of Oyster Bay has become so popular, the staff had to turn away 250 cars. Each vintage car owner donated canned goods to benefit the Long Island Food Bank. You guys totally rock. Thank you, and we'll see you again this Friday evening as well. The Merchant Summer Festival on Park Boulevard this week gave us the opportunity to not just visit the businesses on Park Boulevard, but it also served as a meeting and breeding ground for local politicians. I personally ran into Head of Homeland Security and Congressman Peter King, and I must say, every time I'm in our Congressman's presence, I lose the ability to think cohesive thoughts. I'm rendered incapable of formulating articulate and grammatically correct sentences. I'm embarrassed to admit that I even forget his name. There's just something about his power and empowerment that he just exudes. <clears throat> we just received a press release from Legislator Mejias' office informing us that the AFL-CIO is endorsing Mejias for Congress, and I don't even know what that means. All I know is every time I tried to print the release, I got booted out of my own email. You boys had better not be sending me a virus. <clears throat> the Movies by Moonlight Saturday evening showing of Ice Age The Final Meltdown at Marjorie Post Park, again by the town of Oyster Bay, was a smashing success. Take a look at the photojournalist coverage on the events page. I ran into Town of Oyster Bay Supervisor John Venditto, who strikes me as not just the royalty of community leaders, but the type of guy you want sitting at your Sunday dinner table. Also ran into New York State Assemblyman Joseph Saladino, and if I may speak in metaphors, Assemblyman Saladino is a lion, and the 12th district is his den. I made the mistake of poking a stick at our king of the jungle, by asking him about the upcoming election and his alternative plan in the unlikely event that he's not re-elected. Sometimes you can just hear your own words coming out of your mouth, sounding more like a high-speed locomotive going off the tracks. I mean, the guy wears a bracelet etched into it. Failure is not an option. Assemblyman Saladino got all fired up and stated, my work in the assembly will continue until I've passed every bill that keeps our children safe from predators. My stick poking days are done. Check in at the message board for details on the following upcoming events. Baseball superstars at Last Licks, family fishing fun at Jones Beach, the Rock and Roll Memorabilia Show, now scheduled for September 16th and 17th, singles meetings and dances, and the Blood Drive this Thursday, August 17th. I'd better see you there, and who knows, you may even catch me passed out from the sight of the needle. In criminal news, by clicking on the police car below, you can now link into the current arrest report and crime analyst report that now include criminal activity in surrounding towns. Press releases from the 7th Precinct and the newly formed archive of crime reports. You will notice two almost unbelievable crimes took place in the greater Massapequa's. One, 
A 37-year-old Hempstead man was arrested and charged with attempted murder, robbery, criminal possession of stolen property and a controlled substance, criminal mischief, grand larceny, yada, yada, yada. You have to read the press release. The guy was on a drug-using, property-stealing, run police officer Charles Johnson down spree. I'd like to say he's our new favorite whipping boy. However, our next subject has him beat hands down. An unknown male subject entered the Roslyn Savings Bank on Sunrise Highway in May. He confronted one of the tellers with a demand for money and an intimidating pistol. The teller complied, and as the assailant, assailant was fleeing the crime scene, he tripped over a station pole, dropped some of the money and his fake handgun, and ran out the front door. He left a trail of money out in the parking lot and fled northbound on Carmen's Road. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but here's the thing with this goon. You give bank robbers a bad name. You give Massapequa a bad name. And you embarrass yourself. So come on in and accept your favorite whipping boy certificate and give it up. I've spoken my piece, Massapequa. Have a great week. Be well or be published here next week.